So if you had one piece of advice you could give your younger self, what would that be? I think uh, this is actually a question I've kind of been asking myself lately, and it's come mm. up through a few other podcasts that I've done uh, of people asking me is like, what are the pieces of advice that helped me get here? And if I had known them uh, sooner, how would I have leveraged those differently? Yeah. And I think uh, when I look back, there's been two really good mentors in my life. Uh, one was from an athletic standpoint, I, I played sports in college and I didn't really think about it at the time, but one of my teammates went on to become uh, one of the the NCAA player of the year for, mm. for lacrosse. Wow. Uh, and at the time, well, I was a freshman, you know, I was just learning what college was like and college sports were like. And I remember in a cold, rainy uh, November day, we're out running and, you know, he he said something to me like, all right, like begs, like, keep going, keep going. Like, this is where we get faster. Mm. And, it, you know, to me, I just took that as like, all right, like, whatever, this is just practice. But the reality is, is that's a mentality of using every opportunity you have to get better and better at what you're doing. And I think I didn't look at that in the right perspective until I was older. And if I started changing the way that uh, I approached that from the beginning, I think I would have gotten better results faster. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the other really good mentor is a, uh, a hedge fund owner, a friend of mine. Um, he really helps me or he really helped me look at what the underlying cause or being objective with what a problem is. So a problem comes across, it's easier for us to get emotional or to react in a certain way to that problem versus trying to understand what's actually causing the problem or what the root of that uh, issue is. When we start focusing on that instead of how we're reacting to it or how other people are reacting to it, we can start actually addressing those problems and start moving forward. And I think those are probably the two pieces of advice that if I learned younger, uh, I probably would have done better. And then another one is the one I said before is having a congruent story. Uh, being able to actually tie everything to uh, from where you are to what you've done to how you are here today. And, you know, uh, another example of where that was relevant in my life was when I was uh, looking for jobs out of school. I graduated in 2012. The job market wasn't great. It took me a while to learn how to actually sell myself. Mm -hmm. And then once I learned it, it was easy. <laughs> but the problem was that initial that initial understanding of why is everything I've done up to this point make me relevant or compelling as a candidate for what this role is? And, and the same thing goes true for businesses.